Hi everyone, now we will learn how we can delete data from MySQL table with the help of Laravel. So you know that in last part we displayed a table of the students which is coming from the students table in Laravel database, right? So now what we will do, we will give a delete option with the each of row and once we will click on this delete option, the row should be deleted. So what we need to do for that, first we will give a delete option in the table with the each of row, then we will make controller and router. After that, we will delete data from the table and redirect on the list after deleting the data. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview questions. This is a playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. So first, let's give a delete option in the table with each of the row. So let me just close all of these tabs for a moment so that we can just open them one by one. So first let's go to the list student.blade.php and give a td in the header and there we will put the operation. Uh, just let me fix the typo. Yeah, so actually it should be the operations because there will provide two operation first for uh, you can say that delete and second for edit, right? And now what I'll do there, I'm just creating one more td with the data and there I'll just create a link and there we will just provide a delete button like this, right? So now if I will refresh it, you can see that we have a delete option there. But with this option, we have to provide some URL like where it should be redirected. So how we will delete, we'll, what we will do, in the click of this a link, we will pass the ID of the selected row or you can say that the current row. And then on the behalf of the ID, the data will be deleted. All right, so now, in the href so we will use their double curly braces and uh, then we will uh, use their delete this this will be the route and then our dynamic id so that id will be student and then id like we are getting the name email phone number created at and similarly we are getting the id and if i'll just refresh it okay let me see what is the issue there yeah actually we have to use the dot there then let's refresh it again and now you can see that we have the id there you can guess the id right id 1 2 then we have the 8 9 and 10 the reason being because before creating this part i am just practicing to delete the records and everything so some ids are missing from there right and the id is actually the primary key of this students table right you have to know that okay so the next thing is we have to go to the web.php and uh, yeah there let's create a route and this will be the get and there we'll pass their delete this will be the route with the dynamic id so i'll just put their id like this and the second parameter use array for student controller colon colon class and uh, after that let's provide the delete function and let me create this delete function inside the student controller so let me just run their function then uh, we can say that delete function right delete and we'll get the id from there now what we need to do create a variable is deleted they will check is data is deleted or not and how we will delete it we have to use this student model which we are using for uh, add and uh, you can say that display the data right after that just use a destroy function and inside this we have to pass this id so destroy function will delete the data from database table with the help of id right so if we will pass the id 1 then it will delete the first data if id pass 9 then it will delete this uh, row right okay so after that we have to put semicolon and first let me show you whenever we are deleting any item it will return 1 and if the item is not deleted or not present then it will return 0 let me show you how this is work so if i just click on the john you can see that we are getting one right and if i just run this you can see that the last id is deleted from there but if i just run it again you will see that it will return zero because that result uh, that record is not present this is deleted right so there we can put a condition if dollar is deleted means there is a one and the item is deleted then what we can do we can redirect it return redirect to the student uh, list 
right this is the url here you can see that this is the u uh, url for a uh, delete route right and else you can say that echo record not deleted or something right so now let's try again so what i'll do i'm going back and clicking on the sam and what it will do it will delete the item and then will be back to the list and the item will be removed because that page is getting refreshed there so here you can see that this is removed right and now there should be only three data so now i will just click on the tony and this is also deleted and you can confirm there right so that's all for this part if you have still confused and doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section thanks guys